Hello, hello, everyone. How are you? Hello, good afternoon, good morning, um, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. My name is Visa Shanmugam. I am a mindset transformation coach and I am obsessed with helping people become the best version of themselves so that they can create a dream life. So if you are jumping on here live or replay, as always, always, always say hello, first and foremost, because it's rude not to. Um, hey, Rebecca, how are you, beautiful? Um, so I just got finished with another um, one of my private clients. It was our last session. And it's always bittersweet um, to say goodbye. So I wanted to come um, hang out and kind of share how I normally feel when I wrap up with clients. So I was actually sharing with this client um, today when we wrapped up. And I said, you know, whenever I get a co um, private coaching client, um, I feel like they're little babies that come into my world. And it's not, I'm not trying to pat, you know, patronize them in any way, but they come in um, to the coaching relationship, believing that they want and need a certain something, which is what's going to make them happy or give them inner peace or confidence. And usually as we begin the work and we dive into it, they realize, oh, the thing that I thought I wanted is actually not the thing that is going to make me happy. It's actually something far deeper. And that's the truth for all of us. On the surface level, we think it's we need more money. Um, we think it's more confidence or we need a relationship um, or we need a better job, like whatever it is, right? Yes, those are all things that's going to bring you happiness, but all those things right now are challenging in your life because of something far deeper that's going on. The challenging boss, the, you know, the difficult relationships, the lack of health, all of those are symptoms, symptoms of something far bigger and deeper that's going on within you. So it's always wonderful when I watch my clients come in in the beginning, hey, Jake, um, when they come in in the beginning, um, you know, they are unsure of how this is going to happen, like, because a lot of them have never had any coaching before. They're quite nervous. Um, and at the end of it, what I normally see, what I always have seen is literally a transformation that's happened. So let me give you some examples of just um, some things that I've seen recently. I've been finishing up with a lot of uh, recent clients. So... I literally, I see a physical transformation in the way they carry themselves. Um, they're like the glow, right? I call it the glow. When they come um, to work with me, there's a certain like cloud that's hanging around them, right? Um, they, I feel like when I talk to them, they're kind of holding back, they're shrinking. They're afraid to take up space. Um, and when I'm, you know, wrapping up and saying goodbye to a client, I, I see a physical transformation in how they carry themselves, the way they sit. The smile is no longer forced. It comes from within. And they all literally are glowing by the time we are done working together, right? It's not their skincare products. The glow comes from an inner transformation because they have released so much baggage. So that's part of like the physical transformation that I see. And I also hear a difference in the voice and how confident they sound when they are speaking. And that is wonderful to watch as well. And, you know, one of the, my favorite things that I hear from clients is when they say, you know, this doesn't work for me anymore. So I, I'm going to change it. I'm going to figure out what action I need to take to change this. And when they say that, I literally like I want to cry because I'm like, do you remember how you used to? feel and think when you came into this relationship and where you are today. Like when they do that, I'm, I feel the angels and the clouds opening up and I feel the angels going, ah, because I'm like, my work here is done. <laughs> and, you know, I've had clients tell me, um, I used to feel so alone, even within my own family, I felt like no one understood me. And when the, by the time they're done, they're telling me that they've learned how to now communicate with their children. They feel closer to them. They feel they're able to connect with them more easily. Um, and they don't feel so alone or guilty or unable to connect. For a lot of mothers, that's a huge problem that we have. We do so much for our families, but we feel like we're not able to connect with them or nobody gets us. And our kids feel the same way. Our kids feel like my mom just doesn't get me. And it feels like it's a forced relationship, right? Because it's 
a parental and a child relationship. But that genuine closeness, that wanting, that um, uh, ability to open up and be vulnerable with one another and not losing a patience, that's always a big change that I see in all my clients is when they come in, they tell me, oh, you know, I lose my patience with my kids all the time. I'm always yelling at them. And I used to be one of those people. Um, and by the time we're done, they say, you know what? I, I mean, I still yell at my kids, but no more, like, not at the frequency that we used to yell at each other. And I'm able to enjoy the moments with them. Before, you know, they always used to be so busy with their to-do list. What should I, what do I need to do next? Nobody's helping me around the house. And they used to feel all this pressure and now they have a much more meaningful relationship with their spouses. They're able to have the tougher conversations with people in their families. Hi, Nat. Hi, Jessica. Um, which they never used to before. They used to avoid them because it was far easier to avoid the conversation, put it off for another day because they didn't have the tools. They didn't have the tools. They weren't feeling empowered on how do I have this difficult conversation without making them feel like they are bad or terrible or getting into an argument, right? Because nothing productive comes out of an argument. So um, when I said goodbye to this client today, my heart was singing because she was a different woman to who she was eight weeks ago. It was mind blowing to see it happen in front of me. Hi, Sabrina. Um, so my heart is just feeling so, so, so full today because this particular client has been able to rebuild a much closer relationship with her kids. She's able to relate to them and they're able to come open up to her. She's stopped yelling at them. Um, she's able to have you know difficult conversations with her husband and they've taken action or they are in the process of rebuilding their relationship. Um, she is feeling so empowered about her career and you know like what kind of um, salary she can ask for. I mean, this is all in eight weeks, guys, eight weeks. And she's learned now how to put herself first, how to put her needs first and not feel like I don't have a choice. Okay. So all Asian women, um, we are brought up with this, um, thing that we just have to put up with whatever happens in our families, right? Like however people treat us, whether they are in-laws or parents or sister-in-laws, whatever, as a good wife, as a good daughter-in-law, as a good daughter, you are taught that you just kind of have to bite your teeth and tolerate it, okay? That um, that's what a good daughter-in-law does. That's what a good woman does in order to maintain familial relationships, in order to maintain peace, right? And so whatever gets thrown at you, like you're told that's what you need to do. So you never learn to question it because that's what everyone does. That's what everyone does, right? So when you grow up in a culture um, where you're told this is how your world operates and if you step out of it, then you are bad or terrible, or you won't be accepted, that you're a problem maker, you don't honestly think to question it and when you do, you shut it down right away. You're like, that's not how it's done. Like, so I just have to carry on until right their eyes and their hearts gets opened up to a different way of living so disclaimer here my in-laws are wonderful okay i say that because my mother is probably going to watch this video and she's going to be like oh my god i can't believe you said all that stuff um i am very blessed i come with an amazingly supportive family on both my husband's side and my own um but this is i'm speaking from what i see in indian culture in general right and a lot of women put up with stuff that they shouldn't be putting up with, but we don't know that it's okay to ask to be, that we deserve more, that we need to be treated better, that we need to ask and put up for our happiness first. And we just tend to swallow it down most of the time and be like, and just tolerate it because you're told that's what makes a good life. That's how you maintain the facade of having the perfect family. So I was just, I am on a high today because I wrapped up with this client. Like I said, it's bittersweet when you say goodbye because you, you want to continue with people forever because these are my soulmate clients. These are women who have so like so much to offer in terms of just they're intelligent, they're smart, they're hard workers. Um, they are ambitious, right? They know, they know they have so much potential within them, but they feel stuck and they feel frustrated and they feel trapped and they have no idea how to unearth, how to mine that potential. And they're like sick and tired of spinning their wheels. 
they are, you know, no matter how hard they work, they don't seem to be making headway. And this, and it's being reflected in their personal life as well. And just all around, they're feeling just this feeling of stuckness. There's nothing more frustrating than this feeling of stuckness that even though you might be working harder to create more success for yourself, the more things you acquire, the more success you acquire, it still doesn't seem to be filling up that hole, right? H-O-L-E, to make you feel fulfilled. And these are, you know, I love, I love it when a client comes in and they know exactly what they want. And they come in and they tell me, well, you know, I'm not happy. I think it's because of X, Y, and Z, and I need you to help me get to here. And I'm like, okay, are you ready to jump in and you're going to do the work? Some of the work is going to sound really unfamiliar and you're going to be wondering, like, how do all these dots connect to get me to where I want? But they trust, they trust and they do the damn work of not the work that they've been used to, right? Not the traditional kind of work that we think about, but working in, inward, turning that um, focus inward, because all of this time the focus has been outward of what do I, how do I help other people? How do I become a good mom and a wife um, by doing all the things for my family and working super hard at my job and doing it all for everyone, right? I'm gonna ignore my own needs and that's what makes me good. No, and like I, tell them and I coach them um, how to stop that way of thinking and feeling. And it's hard, you guys, because that's how it, we are programmed and wired to be that way. So when someone steps in and tells you to look at the world through a different lens and to operate in a different way, unless you're open and coachable, like it's not your the results you want, they're not going to happen. Um, so I'm just so proud is a wrong word because I don't do the work. All I do is show my clients the way and they are the ones who just take it and run with it and to sit on this side of the lens and watch that transformation happen in front of my eyes. It is the most rewarding, blissful, just life affirming experience. I know those are big words, but that's how much I love what I do and I am amazing at it and I am gifted and I can say that because this is truly a gift that I have been given and I am so grateful that I discovered it and I'm able to use it and I'm able to walk in my purpose every single day so um, I am I've got two things going on right now um, that I am opening for enrollment or it is currently open for enrollment um, one is my upcoming 90-minute masterclass um, it's all about I don't think I can say this on Facebook. It's all about the F word. <laughs> so like it, it's basically I am stuck, right? If you, if you keep telling yourself, I feel stuck, I feel stuck. I feel like this, uh, I know this masterclass will be amazing for you. It's um, seven steps that I'm going to be sharing on how to unfrustrate your life and believe in yourself more. Because if you can start to become unstuck and build that self-belief muscle, you bet that you are in the beginning of a transformative journey. So that's a 90 minute masterclass taking place on April 23rd at 8 p.m. It's a live class. And if you're not able to make it, that's totally okay. It's going to be recorded and available for you to watch. The price is right now $57. And I say right now because the $37 spots already sold out. So right now we're in the $57 enrollment phase. And once that sold out, it's going to go to 77. And I do it that way, one, because it's so much fun. And two, I really want to reward people for taking action. Um, one of the things when it comes to changing our life, changing our habits, um, it all depends on taking action. That's what determines success. A lot of us are like, I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to do it one day. I'm going to do it one day. And that all of us have the ability to be absolute rock stars, superstars, and achieve every single dream that we have. The difference between the people who do it and the ones that don't do it are the ones that take action, okay? And I am where I am today in my life because I took action even when I was scared shitless. I kept taking action even when there was no evidence or sign um, that it was working. I kept taking action even when it made no sense to take action rationally. So I made this pricing this way because I wanna reward people that take action. So if you want to save yourself some money, and get in on the $57 price, I recommend you do it now. I'm going to be dropping the link. And then the other thing that I have going on that's currently open for enrollment is my private coaching. Guys, if you want amazing transformation in a short period of time, we're talking like six weeks to 12 weeks, like 
your life is never going to look the same and you're not going to see yourself in the same way again and you're going to be rewiring um some things that how you have you know identified yourself with in a long in a, for a long time like we're going to be doing some major reprogramming and rewiring that's truly going to set you free from who you believe you are and what you believe you're capable of so if you're interested in either one of those i recommend that you book yourself a 30-minute clarity call with me where we'll figure out whether this is going to be a good fit for us or not and whether you're serious about this trans um, transformation and whether you want to work with me and I want to work with you. Okay, so I'm going to drop the link for the clarity call as well as the masterclass. If any, if either of that resonates with you, jump on it, take action. That is the key to making any change in your life. The moment you feel a nudge, take the friggin action. Do not put it off because your mind will talk you out of it. That is how your mind works. It doesn't want you to make changes. It doesn't want you to rock the boat. So it'll keep telling you not right now some other time. Don't let that voice win. If this resonates with you and you get that tug in your heart and you're like, oh, that sounds really good, just whip your credit card out or you know, put in your details for the clarity call and just get it done. Okay, don't let fear talk you out of it. All right, with that, I'm going to wish you guys a fantastic weekend. Thank you for hanging with me, saying hi. I always appreciate you guys. All right, I will catch you very soon. Mwah. Bye, guys.